Wir sind hier in Sofelab und unser äh, Team hat eine Mission. Wir wollen euch eine gesunde Seite von unserer Stadt zeigen. Jeder ist heutzutage in Eile. Die Leute entscheiden sich oft für Fastfood anstatt für frisches und hausgemachtes Essen. Das ist nicht nur schlecht für unsere Gesundheit, sondern auch für unsere Umwelt. Mmh, lecker! Aber nicht so gesund, oder? Wir denken, die Leute kümmern es nicht genug. Wir haben eine Umfrage gemacht und dabei herausgefunden, Някога пробвали ли сте да си заседите под зеленчук, тип подправка в къщи да, да си го гледате? Да, лутичушки на Балкана съм си засаждал. Подглеждахме лузя, подглеждахме картофи, имаше овошки, имаше смокини. Но това беше края на минали началото на този век. Този век не го прави. Пазар, зависи на кой пазар, а, винаги има по-свежи плодове, свежи зеленчуци. Also haben wir entschieden, jemanden zu treffen, der diese Fähigkeiten hat. Hello, how are you today? Hello, nice to meet you, I'm fine. Uh, well, first of all, I want to ask you to introduce yourself. My name is Bojidar Emanuilov. I'm uh, from Urban Gardening Initiative in Sofia and I used to be part of this beautiful garden, which is uh, garden number one in Sofia. Personally, I'm heavily involved in uh, safe sustainable projects and I love to work with food and other projects on this type. This garden we started it with a couple of activists. We work on this project like uh, for one and a half year until we find the place. This was the hardest thing to do. This is the third season of the garden. The membership in the garden is uh, yearly based, so you have a meeting with the people from the garden, they have to approve you, and then you sign a contract uh, with the rules of the garden, and then you become a part of the garden. It costs around 210 level per year, so uh, for us it's not only the food aspect, which is good also, it gives you some opportunity to have a good food, to have healthy food, to know where your food is coming from. It's everything, it's natural, it's natural, it's, uh, yeah, it's totally clean. It's a uh, few things like helping food security uh, and uh, bringing people together and combining that this into a community of uh, people. Because in Bulgaria this is very important, we don't have traditions in this and we can see it here. Also, it's bringing people from different uh, ethnical uh, and uh, social background together. Like, we have people who are 20, 22, 5 years old to people who are 60 years old. And also we have some foreigners, like from Spain, from Egypt, and so on. Uh, we have different people from different countries. That's great. Yeah. Our community, we make some uh, little uh, holidays where we can, when we share some food, some, like we have a holiday for the tomatoes uh, when the, in August, when the tomatoes are good. And uh, we together, we make a big uh, bowl of uh, salad. And we together, everybody are bringing uh, something to the table. So it's very communal and it's, brings this uh, sense of community to everybody. Urban gardening is very useful for the environment, also for biodiversity in uh, big cities because it's an uh, oasis of greens. In the earth we have some insects and worms. Uh, also we have uh, birds and uh, bees. Also uh, when there is a lot of rain, if it's asphalt, it goes, uh, it's overflow. 
the rivers and so on. But this it, you can sink inside. Also, it helps uh, like this place. It used to be uh, parking, illegal parking, like you can see on both of the sides, and it is a lot of dust from it. And uh, this one, it doesn't produce dust. Also, it helps to uh, lower the temperature in the in the summer. We have uh, systems to collect uh, rainwater, we have uh, PV panels uh, to collect uh, sun energy, we use it to charge our phones and also to mainly to work the pump which is pumping water from our systems to the every personal garden. We want to spread the idea and to have more gardens like this in Sofia and to work better with the Sofia municipality and also to be a project recognized in other municipalities in Bulgaria. And since a lot of people live in apartments here, um, can they start their own little garden? Do you have any tips on how they can do this? If you have like uh, half of the day sunlight, it's perfect. You can do little gardens with uh, some herbs and stuff like this on your balcony, on, on some uh, of the windows. Also, you can do this on the roofs. You can use them also. Yes, you can do this. Kümmer dich um dich selbst und unsere Natur.